Okay, gang, Private Jack here. Welcome to part 9 in my series on how to take an XNA type model, convert it using Blender to get it to work in Source Filmmaker. Uh, in this particular tutorial, what we're going to talk about is uh, scaling the model. So, looking at Ralph here, he looks pretty good, he looks pretty big, but how does he compare to an actual TF2 model? So what we need to do is we need to load a reference. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these lights because they create uh, problems when I am actually working. By not having lights in the scene, uh, the characters look kind of cartoony, but that's okay. At least you can see them and you can get an actual uh, relative idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on a lamp and I'm going to right click on the other lamp holding down the shift key to select both lamps and I'm going to press X and hit delete. There we go, we're back to our cartoony Ralph. Now, how do we determine whether or not Ralph here is proper scale? Well, the only way you can really do it is by bringing in an actual TF2 character. And how we do that is we come up here we go to File, Import, and moving down here, you're going to find an import tool called Source Engine, and it allows you to load SMDs, uh, the Valve animation files, DMX, and QC files. Click on that, and now we need to find a model. Okay, so. Valve, in their infinite wisdom, has given us uh, the actual source models for TF2. And where we can find those is by going to C, Program Files, x86 for us 64-bit guys, Steam, Steam Apps, Username, and coming down here to the Source SDK Content. Click on that. Now, these are various uh, model sources for the various games that you have. Uh, that you have. I have Counter Strike. I have uh, Day of Defeat, Episode Two, uh, Generic, Half Life Two, Half Life Multiplayer, Portal, SDK, and TF. I'm going to go into the TF folder because I want to compare him to an actual TF character. Coming here to uh, what you have now is you have map sources, you have model sources, MVM, that have no idea what the heck's in there, and uh, particles. So I'm going to go into map sources, player, and I'm going to come down here to the scout. I usually compare my models to the scout. Now I'm going to go into parts, and I'm going to come down here to SMD. I could load the DMX, but it causes a lot of problems. Uh, anyway, I'm going to load the SMD, and this is the SMD that I'm going to load. But before I click on load, what I want to do is I want to turn off, um, extend any existing model, and importing animations, because I don't need that. So, with those two things checked off, I select the Scout, and I click on Import. Blender will whirl and twirl and move around a little bit and look at this. Look at the size of Ralph compared to the size of the Scout. It's not even a doll size. So we need to fix Ralph so that he is in the same um, scale as the Scout. Now what I want to do is I want to move the Scout from his current position to another layer down here I have layer buttons. Okay. Right now because I imported the scout all his uh, skeleton and his his meshes are selected. So all I have to do now is press M for move and tell it which layer I want to move them to. I'm going to move them to the second layer. Now the scout has now disappeared. But if you look down here, I now have objects in two layers. Layer 1 is Ralph, and Layer 2 is the Scout. 
With the scout now in layer two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate him so that he's standing up on the floor. To do that, I have the whole model selected. I press R, and I could either move it manually this way, or I can just type in 90. Oops. Rotate 90. Now he moved backwards, so what I can do now is just hit escape. He'll go back to his original position. R minus 90. And that brings him up to the floor. Now you'll notice that he's floating above the floor. The reason for that is that my cursor was not at center. So what I need to do now is I need to go shift and S to bring up my snap. Move the cursor to the center. Now I need to go Shift and S again and move the selected to the cursor. There we go. He's a little bit below the floor. And that's... I wonder why that is. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to select the scout model. Shift S. There he goes. Now he's back to normal. He's in his normal rotation mode. His skeleton is connected, yada, yada, yada. But all I'm using him for is a reference. So how can I tell where Ralph is compared to the scout? Well, told you, Ralph is back here in layer 1. Scout is in layer 2. Go back to Ralph in layer 1. Hold down the shift key and click layer 2. Now both layers are visible. Okay, what do we have to do to get Ralph the same size as our scout? Right click on Ralph. And because he's multi-parted, what we're going to do is we are going to um, scale each part individually. So usually models are about 10 times smaller than the article uh, than the t uh, than the uh, scout so i'm going to go into edit mode on ralph on that one part okay i've got his body selected go into edit mode tab push the scale button and say 10 I'm going to hit enter or, uh, enter or click the left mouse button. That's not big enough. He's a lot smaller than 10. Control Z. Scale. Shift uh, uh, S. Uh, let's say 50. Now 50 is way too big. Okay, so Control Z. Scale. Uh, 30. Yes, 30 is too small. Scale, 40. 40 looks to be about right. So once I've got that scaled, I can click on the left mouse button and that part will stay scaled. Come down here and let's do it for the rest of them now. Let's grab the, come out of edit mode, grab the next object, which will be his arms and head. Shift uh, uh, S for scale, 40. Next item, tab, grab his hair. Oops, I think I did not go into edit mode for that. Control Z, back, Control Z. Go into edit mode, scale. One scale four zero. There we go. Now we're in business. And by doing it in edit mode, what that does is it leaves its point of origin where it should be and it scales everything in proportion to itself, but doesn't change anything on the outside if I just scaled the object. Tab, tab, scale, 
four zero. And now the eyes. Tab scale four zero. Okay, now if I look at Ralph, what I should see is that everything is in place. He's about the same size as the scout. And that's pretty much where we want him to be. Now I move my 3D cursor because if you click anywhere on the screen with the left mouse button, it's going to move the cursor. Shift S, cursor to center. Zoom back in on the skeleton because now we've got to get the skeleton in place. And you'll notice that I'm in front on ortho mode. That way when I scale things, everything goes pretty much... Um, everything goes uh, pretty much straight. It, there's no rotation in anything that I move. So I'm going to select the skeleton now. Tab, skeleton, go into edit mode. Select all, scale, four, zero. And that should put his skeleton back in place. Okay, so now we got Ralph. He's pretty much the same size as the scout. Got to remember he's a cartoon character, but he is normal human size. And he's looking pretty good there. Okay, come out of edit mode, click on the second layer for the scout, hit A to select all, and X, delete. The scout is now gone, everything's clear. We now have Ralph, we have him at uh, the proper scale, file save your work. And we'll close this one off for now. So, until next time, Private Jack out.